I've been at this firm for over 16 years, and in my experience with this firm, we've helped many women who were victims of sexual abuse and sexual harassment, whether it be in an employment situation, in a school setting, um, and others. Consequences often involve uh, the victim feeling like it was their fault or they somehow encouraged it or somehow were responsible for it. And that's just simply not true. The harassers, they're sexual predators and they take advantage of people that they find vulnerable. And very often the victims have done nothing wrong. In this case, you had young, innocent, vulnerable students who really didn't know what to expect in that type of situation. He was a sexual predator wearing a white robe under the seal of the University of Southern California, and it's really unfortunate. When a report of sexual harassment or sexual abuse takes place, the people in charge and the authorities have a duty to take immediate corrective action. Number one, to stop it and to prevent it from happening to future victims. But when you get multiple reports and you continue to employ the perpetrator, then you're ratifying that conduct. I believe that the university had a duty and a responsibility to its students and to those initial victims to investigate thoroughly and then to take immediate corrective action. For them to sweep this under the rug and act like it never happened is a disservice to every student at that school and their legacy. It's a matter of how do you prevent this from happening in the future? And it's a matter of perhaps punitive damages or something to send a message to USC and any other institutions that they cannot harbor predators and that they should not allow the inappropriate conduct to be perpetuated.